while I was getting ready for a Photoshop world and the Bahama cruise that we're hosting, um, I stumbled upon a unique way to organize my Lightroom um, and the workflow. Now, ironically, my buddy Jack Resnicki mentioned to me about smart creating smart galleries months and months and months ago. But again, everything else, I just got a little too busy to look into it. And then it dawned on me how it can streamline my workflow. So the first thing I want to do is import the images that I did of this test shoot. I'm going to right mouse click on a folder that I call models. And then I'm going to create a folder inside of the models. And the name I'm going to give it is the name of the model I worked with. Click create. And then when I come down, and here's her name, I'm going to right mouse click on it. I'm going to create another folder inside of that. And I'm going to give it the date of the test shoot that we did, 2011, 08, and I believe it was the 27th. Now, normally I don't give a descriptive name from here, but in this case, I'm going to, I'm going to give it the name test shoot. So at a glance, I can actually see that this is the first time I worked with this model and it was for the test shoot. Click create. And now I'm ready to import the, uh, the images. So file, import photos. So to go to my memory card. Now I want to set a few things up here to, to make it a little bit easier for me. I'm going to select all the images. I'll delete some of the bad ones after. The name I'm going to give, the, the I'm going to rename the, uh, the files to Vanelli. Keywords, I'm going to give the uh, model's name here in the keywords. Now this is something new. I usually never did. I never did this before, but we're going to need these keywords to help create those smart galleries that we were talking about. Now under models, I'm going to go down here and we're going to look for Kristen's name and click import. Now notice up in here, it's going to take time for it to import. While it's doing that, much like a, a chef would, um, you know, cut up some stuff before the cooking show, what we want to do before we get started is let's start to create those galleries ahead of time. So I'm going to come down here first to the collection. Same thing, right mouse click. I'm going to create a collection set. Give it the name of the model. And we're going to put it into the set of models. Create. And I'm going to come back down. Look for her name that we just created. There it is. And from here, I want to create another set and we're going to give it the date that we shot, 2011, 08, what was it, 27. Create. Now, if we do any other shoots, we'll just put them in here. Notice we're still copying all of the images in. Right mouse click. Now is where I want to create the smart collection. The name I'm going to give it here is going to be select. So these are the images I want the model to select. And it's going to go under the date that we just picked here. Keywords, of course, it's going to be the name of the model. And under keywords again, we'll put the word select. So anything that we label under the keyword or we tag it with the word select, from Kristen shoot will appear in this uh, smart gallery. Create, do the same thing, create another smart collection. This time we're going to call it final. Everything's set here except for this. We'll just change the name to final. And again, my buddy Jack Krasnicki was the one who gave me the idea of using the words final and select. Now I created a, um, a collection with that, now let's go down to our publishing services. At some point, I know I'm going to put it to my SmugMug account. So once again, right mouse click. And notice we're still importing the images, so we have plenty of time. Create a smart gallery. Oh, cancel. Try that again. What I want to do is create a category. And the category is going to be the name of the model. Now, I already have a set under here for models. Now I'm going to create it. Once it's created, let's go to the models. There she, there she is. Now we want to create a smart gallery. So under the smart gallery, this is what's going to appear on our Smug Mug website. I'm going to give it the name uh, Select. 
Now, because there's going to be several of these under her name, what we want to do is give it the date. So I'm going to go to the beginning part, put the, uh, the date, 2011, 08, 27, and then the word select. Change this to the word select. And then I personally, I like to come down here to the advanced. I like to display the file name, get rid of the uh, camera info. Now, since this is under select, I'm going to give this a password, which obviously I'm not going to tell you. This way, um, the only ones, or the only people that can see the selected photos, these, these are the unedited images, are the model and anyone she gives the password to. I'm going to enable the right mouse click um, protection, so this way they can't copy my unedited images and put them up on the web. Everything else is the same. My thumbnails, I like it to be set to the original. Okay, and I created it. Do one more, do it one more time. That's it. Smart gallery. Same thing. The date. And then the word final. Change this to the word final. And once again, just you know, go through. I like this. I don't need any password, and I'm going to allow her to right mouse click or copy these images because that was the deal we had. And click create. Good. Now, under my publishing services, if you notice, I have the same gallery, I have the same file name and, and settings as I do in my categories up in here, or my collections rather. One last thing I want to do while we're here is Facebook. Right mouse click, and I'm going to create a smart collection. And under here, and notice again up here what it's doing for us, it's fetching all the initial previews. So again, I'm not wasting time doing what we're doing. Lightroom is still doing what it needs to do to get the images inside of Lightroom so we can start editing them. This is just allowing us to move it, uh, do stuff while that's being processed. Now the difference here is I'm gonna name this Facebook. And last, the album name is the model's name. I want everyone to see it, location. Now I could put Melbourne, Florida, but we'll leave it for there. And create. Beautiful. So uh, I, did for, I did for Facebook, and I also did it for SmugMug. If I wanted to do it for Flickr, I could do that. If you have another online um, publication or publishing service you use, you do the same thing we just did. Now let's go back up to Kristen. Let's see, under the folder, rather. Here we go, the test shoot, and they're almost done. Now, this is where I'm just gonna bomb through. I'm gonna make the thumbnails a little bit bigger. And all I wanna do out of all these images, there's roughly, what, 175 of them. I'm not gonna use all 175. I just wanna go through and just start selecting some of them. And once we do, we'll give it the name select. So let's just bomb through. No, when I find one, I like this. I'm at P for pick. I like that too. Good. That's it. All right. <laughs> There's this guy who constantly comes to the uh, the beach where I shoot, and he's always riding his bike. So I ask him if he wouldn't mind me uh, popping his bike in the picture. That looks kind of neat. Yes, it was a very windy day. Good. Keep bombing through. I normally don't shoot in rapid fire mode. Um, in this case, because it was the first time I worked with her, I did. And the problem with shooting in, in rapid fire or continuous fire is because uh, you, you have a tendency of having too many images to pick from. Let's go back for a second. There was a poor baby dead uh, sea turtle there. Good. Oh, I like this one a lot. Good. That's it. And this was actually during the uh, hurricane. 
that that hit here. Well, thank God, bypassed us in August of 2011. Good. And here I just have her walking and looking off to the side. That didn't work too well. Right there, that's good. Let's see. I like that a lot. And this is as we were leaving. Oh, I love her eyes there. Now, normally on some of these, oh, I like that. On some of these here, if there was an image that was completely bad, those are the only ones I ever, you know, if it's a bad exposure or the model has her eyes closed or it's something that I could never see in a million years ever using to photograph, um, then that's when I would delete it. Let's see. Good. <laughs> I was trying to get different reactions out of her. And, and I joked about uh, her walking down a path, thinking about having a baby, and that was her reaction. Let's see. All right. I like that. Oh, I like her head tilted. Nice smirk. Good. Now keep in mind, you don't have to use the entire image. So some of these I really like just the face shot. Let's see, and we're almost done. And there we are. All right, great. Attribute. And these are all the ones that we flagged. Edit. Select all. And then you guessed it. Come over here. Comma. And write the word select. Press enter. And now each one of these has the keyword of the model's name and the word select. I'm going to come down to my collection and notice 28 of those were transferred into the collection set of um, the model's name. Here's final. There's nothing in there yet. And here's select. We're going to go down a little bit further. Notice nothing is in Facebook yet. Here's Kristen's name. Where is it? Oh, it's up on top because it's a collection set. Here it is. So in here, notice nothing's in there yet because we didn't tag it with the word Facebook. Now, if I come down to my smug mug, boom, there's eight of them again. So you can see how powerful this is. Now, let's go back up to our collections. And under the collections, I'll just do a real quick edit. Let's... um. Let's pick this one here. Development. Now, just for the sake of time, uh, I'm going to do a, what I like to call a one-click wonders. And sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Let's see, I like this. Except, I don't want to cut off at the knee. Right about here. There. I'm just going to look over to the left here, and that'll help me. Double click. Okay, that looks neat. Good. I love her eyes. So all I want to do is come in and just touch them up just a touch. I usually go over and then slowly bring it back. Now while I'm here, I'm going to do something a little bit different. I picked this up on one of Scott Kelby's Light It, Touch It, Reshoot It tour. He was mentioning Try when you want to increase the brightness of an image, not to mess with the exposure, but go to the brightness itself. And I've been finding I've had pretty good luck with that. Good. And we're there. Now let's try that one click wonder. I'm gonna come up to the presets. And I created a bunch of presets of my own. Well, like that. Here's my sunset one. And here's soft colors. You know what? I'm going to go with soft colors. I like that. And again, it's just a base. So let's sort of bring up some of the blacks. Recovery slider. Good. Yeah, I like where that's heading. And for the vignetting, let's go the opposite way. There we go. 
great. And one last thing. Okay, the noise reduction is brought up pretty high because you want that soft, smooth, smooth look. Let's bring the sharpening up a little bit. That's it. And last, uh, let's go with clarity. All I want to do is just come down and paint over her. I'm going to press the letter O on the keyboard for the opacity. What that's going to let me do is put a, a red mask on her so I can see where I'm painting. So I just want to add the clarity just to this here and sharpen it up. Press the letter O again to hide it. And there we go. So before and after. That was before. That was after. Now I like what I just did. So under the library again, the keyword, instead of it being select, let's call this final. And while we're at it, let's put it on Facebook. Ooh, let me go back. Now notice it disappeared. It went right into the finals. The only thing I have to do is fix the word Facebook. There. Now, isn't that cool? It was here in select. So anywhere that the word select was, it replaced it with the word, I replaced with the word final. So now not only is it in the collection set here under final, but if we go into the publishing services under Facebook, or I'm sorry, under SmugMug, here it is again. It shows the word, it goes under final. If we go to Facebook, because I gave it the name Facebook, we look up in here, there it is. Now I'm going to click publish. And while we're at it, I'll come back down here and under her name here, click publish again. And then, you know, in a few minutes, it's going to upload everything to, to SmugMug and to Facebook. Now on my SmugMug account, which is my website, what's going to happen is I'll send the model an email and tell her, hey, look, look at your images. You look under your, let's show that again. Look under your images, under, under select, use the password that I'm giving you. Go through and you pick maybe five or six of your favorite images, and then I'll edit those. Once I edit them, I'll change the name from select to final, and we'll put it in the finals folder, and then she'll be done. And then from here, we don't have to worry about her giving her a CD with all the images on them. She'll have them on her, on her own little portfolio site on my site. And what's neat about that is she can send a link to Facebook, Twitter. Uh, she can send an email, whatever she wants to her friends and family. And that's going to generate more people coming to your website. So there it was, a real simple way. And again, thank God I talked to uh, Resnicki, uh, Jack, helping me out with some of these collections. So what we're going to do is, again, create the a folder in the very beginning. And with the folder, we give it the model's name, the date of the shoot, select the images we want, come down to the collection, create another collection with the model's name, the date of the shoot under subfolder, and then, again, Smart Collections, where it will be Final and Select, and if you want to do it with Facebook or if you want to do it with SmugMug, same concept. And whenever you change it in one place, it'll be updated in all the other areas. Thanks so much for watching this. And for more tutorials on this, please visit us at ExposurePAS.com.